friends, this is Renee from Little Village Homestead, and today I'm going to show you how I make a very easy and delicious sandwich spread. We'll be right back. And today I'm going to show you a real simple and cheap yet delicious sandwich spread using bologna, hot dogs, onions, mayonnaise, and sweet relish, and a little pepper. So this is very simple. I'm going to grind this up, and with this I'm going to grind my nice size onion up in there with, with all my meat. And because my grinder is so loud, I will just grind it and I'll be back. I'm back this is all ground up and I did wind up grinding another onion in it because I wanted a little more onion than what that was given so now for my pepper and I love lots of pepper so I'm just going to grind this up in here this really makes a wonderful sandwich spread and you know, you can use just about any, you can use deli meats, I use hot dogs and bologna. And this, in fact, I got on sale, the hot dogs and the bologna both were on sale at the grocery store, and I thought, well, perfect for my husband for his lunches. You know, it's, it's good, and I'm going to be gone for three days, so that's why I'm making so much, and he'll take that for his lunches. So, with that, I just don't usually measure anything because I got quite a bit in here so I'm going to put a good couple three nice big spoonfuls in there got that and that should I might have to add a little bit more let me rinse my spoon off and the mayonnaise I never measure anything you know so we're just going to start with about a three quarters of a cup and we're just going to get this all mixed in. This stuff is going to be fantastic on sandwiches, on crackers, you can use it as a dip. It's good and the hot dogs and the bologna of course are fully cooked so you don't have to worry about you know any getting sick on it. And uh, the hot dogs that I got in here are just uh, you know they're El Cheapos. They're beef, pork, and uh, chicken. So, that really is turning out pretty good. And we'll take a taste test after I get this mixed up. I'm making a mess. You can put a little garlic in there. You can use garlic bologna. You can use lots of stuff. If you got leftover deli meats. I mean, when you buy this from the store, folks, you pay a lot of money for it. And all it is, is their ends and pieces of their deli meats. And they just mix it all up together and put some onions and seasonings in it. Mayo and relish and, well, there you have it. So you might as well make your own. It's a heck of a lot cheaper. I think this big pan probably cost me $5 to make. Opposed to, you know, uh, a pound of it in the store oh my god you know a little a little half pound container would cost you about four bucks so this is pretty good 
Okay, I'm going to give this a little sampling to see if i got to put any more goodies in there. I'd like a little more mayo in there, but i got to taste it first. So we'll take a taste. Mm. Actually, I do believe that's good just the way it is. But I am going to put a little more relish in there because that really is fantastic. I'll throw a little more mayo in there too. You just do this according to how you like it, you know, your taste. I gave you the pretty much the main ingredients and you take it from there, but this is really good. It's turning out beautiful. So finish mixing this. Give it another little, little taste. Ooh, that's it, friends. There you have it. It's all done. You can store it in your fridge. It'll stay for days. Fully cooked. It's wonderful. It's good for sandwiches. It's good for snacks. It's good for dips. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.